Hello and welcome to Teacher Needs a Drink Podcast. I am Elvis, your host, and I'm here to let you know that this is a not safe for work podcast. We're teachers at the end of the week and really the end of our ropes, and we'd like to be able to talk honestly and openly about teaching without, you know, having to worry about losing our jobs. So we'll be using pseudonyms throughout the podcast, hence the Elvis. I'd like to give a big, big, big shout out and love and hug and kiss to all of our Patreon friends out there. I love our Patreon patrons. They support us. They love us. They keep us going. We have these great conversations in the Facebook group chat, and I don't want to waste any time, so I'm going to thank them all now. Here we go. Big thanks to Nicole B., Shannon E., Helena C., Aaron B., Stephanie S., Maggie M., Texas teacher Kristen, Miss Sunshine, Hattie F., James and Allie J., Jody D., Samantha D., Lisa C., Rachel, Tarina, Exhausted Band Director, Kimberly K., Kim K., Jessica A., Swivel F. Owners, Amanda F., Ariana L., Physics Runner, Melissa V., Steph, Science Teach 17, Michael M., William P., Sarah O., Aldrich T, La Scorpionita, Britt M, Iron Swine, Teresa H, Noel R, Biker Teach, Marsha M, Christina B, Miss Alabama, Kristen B, Jason, Amber H, Abby B, Sarah B, Regina L, Josie S, Sam B, Lucy P, Mary E, Jamie B, Red Violin, Kristen W, Vanessa G, Mary C, RJR, Christine C, Johanna H, Space Panties, Irma A, Nimi, Melissa M, and Sarah N. Thank you guys so much. You too can join our patron for as little as five to ten dollars a month and you get access to so many bonus episodes and so much content you can only see on our Patreon or here and you get access to our watch parties, our live recordings, the Facebook group, all of it. You should go do it and do it now. Sign up for our Patreon. Do it. Woohoo! All right, one more sponsor to hit up. I'd like to thank Lud Lamb Dramatics. If you are a theater teacher or you know one in your building, go to ludlambdramatics.com. They are the only place where you can get classroom resources, especially at the end of the year for theater students. So go to Lud Lamb Dramatics. Do it now. They're amazing. Woohoo! Okay, my friends, we've got, I got an email today. I have 23 work days left in the summer, the spring until it's summertime. I am so excited. But with that, I'm also a little frustrated and having a hard time getting motivation. So this week, uh, instead of recording a fresh show for you guys, you are getting a glimpse at some of the Patreon content. This is a three first of a three-part series on our Patreon where it's the men and just the men of the podcast talking about certain issues. And then we have two more episodes. One's The Sweet, where it's kind of the sweet ladies of our patron talk, or of the... Ep- I can't fucking talk, uh, of the podcast, and they talk about their opinions on these same subjects. And then we have the spicy women. I'm sure you can guess who some of those hosts are. And they discuss the same uh, stuff. So, I don't know. Go join our Patreon. Hear the next two parts in the series. I think you'll love them. If not, we'll be back with fresh content next week. All right, my friends. Last but not least, if you have something you want to share, hit us up through the contact page of teacherneedsdrinkpodcast.com. I have babbled way too fucking long. All right, enjoy the episode. Cheers! Woo! do it. Well, welcome to Teacher Needs a Drink Podcast. I am Elvis, your host, and today I have with me, just for the Patreon, the boys. So I'm what Elvis, up, and I've up. also got Mr. Wayne Kerr. Oh, good. It's just the boys. I don't have to worry about, you know, those dirty <laughs> magazines being out. There. And also, Count Chocolate. Yeah, the ladies couldn't handle all the chocolate today, so it's just yeah, the fellas. They're on their own, so it's just us for the Patreon. We're doing this, patron people, because we love you. And I just thought it'd be a way to give new content. So I have two prompts and a Would You Rather set that I'm going to ask the boys and be part of the discussion for. And then later on, I'm recording one of our sweeter ladies, and then I'm doing one of our, <laughs> our saltier ladies together. Woo-hoo! So it'll be interesting to hear the difference of opinion. So this is the only time I'm going to give my two cents. But guys, I'm happy you're here. Wayne, are you doing all right? I'm doing okay. You know, life is what life is. So uh, you just got to keep on finding new magazines. That's all I got to (laughs) say. All right. And Count, are you good? Did you survive your Monday? Yeah, I did, man. They, uh, it, yeah, I'll say it went well. I'll leave it at that. All things have been taken care of. (laughs) I'm glad to hear that. All right, well, let me go ahead and pull up our first prompt. Both of these are from the Reddits. All right, whenever it pulls up. All right, this is from user Ray Warts 5. Nope, just Ray Warts. This is from user Ray Warts. It's thoughts on this senior prank admin response. 
Today in Alabama, seniors from two nearby high schools swap as... Let me start over. Hey, uh, Dave, will you mute yourself real quick? You're just shaking the phone a lot. No, wait. I'm sorry. I'm in my car. All right. Today in Alabama, seniors from two nearby high schools swap schools as a senior prank. Apparently, admin and teachers from both schools missed it completely, and the kids walked around and attended class in the wrong school for a few hours. Obviously, admin at both schools were furious. Several of the kids, even those who were otherwise great students, were suspended, lost scholarships, and were kicked off sports teams. Many think the students were unfairly punished due to admin and teacher at both schools being exposed for lazy school security. I thought it was a good senior prank because nobody got hurt and no property was damaged. Beyond that, I think it will help with school security and help prevent possible future issues with both schools. What do you guys think? It looks like it was about 15 seniors from each school. So, yeah, definitely the school not catching, you know, the ID badges. But really, if it's the same district, the ID badges probably look really similar. And they could just walk in and someone sees someone's student age with an ID badge. They're probably not going to fine-tune to make it sure it's you know, whatever school it is, but count Wayne, what do you guys think? Oh man. I feel like what a huge security issue it is. Yeah. But if you could go several hours and actually attend class and your teacher not know who you are. And at some point, like there was no, I mean, I mean, how does that even happen? If you're this far into the year, you've got, um, roll, someone's taking attendance, you just have random people in the hallway. That's like a nightmare right there. Um, I just don't see how it lasted multiple hours. I can't um, see having students in my class that I had never seen before and not yeah. questioning it. Because exactly. even in classes where I don't know everyone's name or there are a few names I'm shaky of, I would recognize four or five or even just one brand new face that I had never yep. seen. I would yep. say, Hey, who are you? Where's your schedule? No one sent me a roster. I would say something about that because I would notice extra bodies. Now, maybe it's possible. I don't know any details on this that like the students just went and like hovered in the hallways, but I don't know. You couldn't be ever, you wouldn't know all the blind spots where kids are allowed to be. So I don't know. I don't see how they could have lasted that long without the teachers either being in on it or just recklessly not caring, but maybe they just hung out in the library or a corner of the auditorium or someplace where kids are normally loitering. I don't know. Wayne, what do you think about this? See, okay, I'm more concerned about why are people losing scholarships over a thing that um, they either, A, were not participating in. I mean, okay, so you see a student that you recognize maybe from a different campus. You don't report it. Yeah, that's, that's a bad thing, but... At the same time, why are we losing scholarships over something that they were not directly involved in and did not play in and various other things? I understand going after the two students that were responsible for doing the swap, but otherwise, I mean, I think it said later in the article that this was a pretty harmless um, prank in regards to, or I should say, in relation to other senior pranks that we have heard of or seen. I, I don't think anything was really wrong. I think even the kids who swap spots, I think if they got in, I mean, the worst thing I would think that they need, unless they were causing disruptions in the other school, and I, that doesn't sound like the point, like they weren't starting fights or like smoking or having sex in one of the rooms. I think maybe they just get, you know, an absence for a day, an unexcused absence, and that's it. And the schools need to, you know, check their shit. But yeah, I, I can't see how teachers weren't in on it if they let bodies be in their room that they didn't write. Yeah, I, I just, yeah, I can't fathom that. I also think it's absolutely crazy that you'd lose scholarships. When I read that part, I was like, wow. <clears throat> and hopefully it's not like ones given by universities and it's like a local yeah. one, like through yeah. high school or something that they just decided that some kind of disciplinary action remove them from it but i feel like that's a what a what an extreme punishment <laughs> no that's uh, incredibly no one was hurt property was not destroyed no, no one was assaulted nope. I, I i i gotta say this is a a gross over overreaching but it does point out big security flaws if you have someone you know who doesn't belong in your building especially a kid yep 
I mean, yeah. and they'll notice an adult out of place. But I mean, if you had a kid who, my God, what if they wanted to shoot up the school uh-huh. and go to another school? But yeah. But no, I I also look at the aspect of okay, so yes, we've uncovered a security issue, but like going back to these kids didn't really do anything because as you said, if they were disrupting class, then obviously a teacher would have said something at that point in time. I'm thinking that they were just laying low and not doing anything other than proving that, Hey, I'm going to be at a different school for a few hours. So fair enough. Count. You got anything else? Are you good on this one? No, I think I'm good on this one. I just, I, I just can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I think that's a hilarious prank. I think it's a little risky with the school safety, but I think it's like they said, no property was damaged and no one was harmed, but I can't see how you just don't make it some kind of an absence and just keep it moving. No, I think admins butts hit. I think some admins butt hurt about it and that's what's going exactly. on. Exactly. All right. So this one is an article, but I say an article. This is from the Reddit. Someone posted this. But as opposed to responding to this situation, I want to know what you would do if students were doing this in your classroom. And Count, I know you're not in the classroom exactly, but you understand. If you're presenting to a classroom and this was going on, this is what I'd want to hear what your response, or I want to know what your response would be. So this is posted to Reddit by Androgynous Elf, and it says Fight Club. There are ants in the room. One kid is willing to touch them. He makes an enclosure with pencils and starts an ant fight club. You have to donate a crumb to the ants to watch. Not going to lie, it got the class to clean up and stop screaming about ants on the floor. What would you guys do if this was your classroom? (laughs) If it got to the point where some kids started an ant fight club with the ants on the floor. Look, the problem is is that the first rule of Fight Club is that you don't talk about Fight Club. Uh, you already broke the first rule of Ant Fight Club. Exactly. Like, us having this conversation has broken the first two rules. Um, dude, I think... So, if it's cleaning... Or if it's getting the kids to clean up, then that's at least a positive but maybe not make it during an actual class time. Maybe just make it during a homeroom or something else at that point in time so that it's not distracting from the actual class educational time. Um, but, I mean, I just find it I just find it hilarious that we're talking about Fight Club even though the first two rules have been broken. <laughs> exactly. Count, what about you? Listen, I love a good fight club as much as anyone. I just don't know how you actually win in fight club with ants. One of them's gonna like lose like lose legs or something. And you really right, need yeah. different kinds of ants. Being a kid who at one point like put ants in a jar and shook it up to see what would happen. Yeah. <laughs> I, As a child, yeah, I, not recently. I think it's. I think that's one of the weirdest things we've heard in a while. Yeah, <laughs> um, but again, relatively harmless. Um, I'm all for good laughs in high school. I feel like we need a lot of it more of those, <laughs> especially yep. with all the drama that's going on. Yep. But man, that's. That's creative. I, I don't even know how you identify your real ant, but if, if I got to a point where we just had ants all over the floor, you gotta laugh. You gotta just roll with it, especially if the kids are screaming about it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Now, if they start, some kid gets bored, makes an ant fight club. If he starts making a big deal, it's a hey, cut it with the fight club. Other than that, roll with it, man. Just roll with it. Ooh. All right. I think we've covered that. Yep. <laughs> All right. So, bye bye. Hey, folks, uh, I'm just cutting in real quick to let you know that we have a Patreon. If you like this episode and you want to hear more of it, well, you can hear part two and three where you hear the sweet host discuss this and the spicy host. There's also another 90 some odd different episodes of exclusive content you can get for as little as five to ten dollars a month. So go join our teacher needs a drink podcast Patreon. You'll be glad you did. All right. Back to this. Thank you. You guys get the first of the would you rather's because I'll just randomly good. draw and then everyone else gets stuck with them for the rest of the time. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Well, this made me laugh. So, patrons, thank you guys so much for supporting us. Normally, this is where we do our big patron push and like, go, go, go. But you guys have already signed up. You're already winners. So, thank all the boys, the drink, we salute you. What did I say? All the men. Yeah. 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 All right. Here we go. Gentlemen, would you rather introduce your most recent ex to every significant other you date or... Give your grandmother a dildo for her birthday and write, Grandpa will always be with you, smiley face emoji on the card. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, that's funny. And that's, uh, this one's actually easy for me. Yeah. That's so, easy. Who's going to go? I'll, oh, I'll go. <laughs> I'm definitely giving the dildo because I'm sorry. Our family has lots and lots of pranks, and that's just going to be chalked up to another one. So, yeah. <laughs> oh what man about you, i'm Ken? going with introducing my ex to all my significant others yeah yeah this my, my ex is not bad oh. like we're actually pretty amicable and we get along well uh i actually know her husband and i've known him for uh, my gosh i've probably known him for almost 25 years um but yeah i could introduce her to whoever and be like yeah this is her and everyone would nod like oh that's her and I don't think there would be too many hard feelings. I think everything would be pretty cool. It's uh, it, it's just an easy choice for me right here. <laughs> so here's the I, thing: is you know, exes are exes for a reason. There yeah, wasn't facts. meant to be. Um, they're not supposed to be the perfect person. They're not supposed to be like, the greatest person in the world. Because if they were, you'd probably still want to be with them. Yeah. Right. And so, if they're an ex, I. I'm not ashamed of my most recent ex. Um, I generally just don't want to introduce my exes to everybody, but it's always interesting, like, if you've been dating someone for a little while and they've heard a couple stories about the ex and then they meet them, like, oh, is that the one? You're like, yeah, she yeah. did that. Yeah. So, I don't know. I I mean, my grandmothers are dead, but I don't think that's a fair loophole for this. And so, yeah. I, I got to say, I'm going to go with the introduce your re- most recent ex because – Really, like, I'm cool with my family. Like, my family has a, a much different level of things than most other people. But still, giving a grandma a dildo and saying, Grandpa will always be with you on the card. I think I'm just going to skip that. But it makes me smile. <laughs> Definitely good laughs. Yeah. Yeah. All right, patrons. Thank you for supporting Teacher Needs a Drink. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. I appreciate it so much on a random day night. I know you've got family and everything going on, so I appreciate you giving your time. And patrons, I appreciate you guys so much. Next week, we're going to have the sweet girls' reactions to these same things. I'm going to recuse myself. And then tour in another week after that, we'll have the salty girls coming out. So thank you guys for supporting us. Deep breaths, deep drinks. Cheers! Woo-hoo! Cheers! Yay! It was my chocolate pleasure being here. All right, friends, thank you again for joining us for another very special episode of Teacher Needs Drink Podcast. This was an episode that's on the Patreon, and parts two and three are still available on the Patreon. We'll be back with regular episodes in the main feed next week. But like I said, if you want more, it's only $5 a month. Go join our Patreon. It's amazing. A big thank you to my host today, Mr. Turd Ferguson. Oh, wait, he's not Turd Ferguson. Mr. Wayne Kerr and Mr. Count Chocolate. I'm glad they were with me today. I love all you guys. Take care of yourselves. Deep breaths, deep drinks. Peace. Woo.